This video is part of the course that is batch processing with Spring Batch and Spring Boot. Link for the course is given in the description. Let's have a look at the Spring Batch architecture. So we know right, in Spring Batch we can have a job and inside the job we can have either single step or multiple steps. And it depends right what kind of step you have. It can be either task led step or it can be chunk oriented step. If it is a chunk oriented step, then you will be having the reader, processor and writer. So this is what we have seen so far. Now you have a job, but you need to start the job or you can say you need to trigger the job or in other words, you can say that you need to launch a job, right? So for that purpose, Spring Batch provides job launcher. Spring Batch provides job repository whose responsibility is to store the metadata information. Now you may ask what kind of information? So the information like when the particular job started, when it is ended and what is the status? Basically the timestamp. The status can be either completed or error or anything like that. Okay. Now we know right job can have multiple steps or single step. So it will also hold the information like when the particular step started, when it was ended and what is the status like completed or any other. So for each step, it will store the metadata information. Now where the job repository will store this information, it will store inside the database. It can be any of the SQL databases like H2 database or MySQL database. In the upcoming lectures, for simplicity, first we will use the H2 database and then we will jump to MySQL database. There you will get idea that how job repository is holding this metadata information into the database. See, storing all this information regarding the job when started, ended, timestamp basically, right? And for each step is responsibility of Spring Batch. We don't need to worry about it, okay? Like when the job started, let's store the time step. No, we don't need to do that. Okay. It will be carried out by the Spring Batch. And for that purpose only, Spring Batch provides job repository. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the video, do comment in the comment section and share with your friends. Do you want to learn Spring Batch? If yes, then I am having complete course on it. In this course, you will learn Spring Batch in detail. You will learn what is job and step provided by Spring Batch. In this course, you will learn task led step and chunk oriented step in detail. You will learn item reader, item processor and item writer with example. In this course, you will learn how to launch a job using REST API and how to schedule a job using Spring Scheduler. There are different item readers provided by Spring Batch. In this course, you will learn flat file item reader, JSON item reader, XML item reader, JDBC item reader and many more. Just like item reader, Spring Batch provides different item writers. In this course, you will learn flat file item writer, JSON item writer, XML item writer, JDBC item writer and many more. Fault tolerance is very important while working with Spring Batch and that's what this course covers. In this course, you will learn how to skip the bad records and how to capture the bad records while reading, processing and writing the data. You will also learn retry mechanism provided by Spring Batch. This course covers real time use case that is database migration. In this course, you will learn how to migrate from Postgres to MySQL database using Spring Batch. And for this purpose, we will use JP item reader and JP item writer. So what are you waiting for? Link for the course is given in the description. Just click on that and start learning Spring Batch with Spring Boot. So that's all for now and we'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.